Hello there, I am Jenko with my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo. In the last part, we took on a rematch against Elite Four Lance, and now we can take a rematch against uh, Champion Matt. I have a fine type Pokemon or a Pokemon that knows a fine type move up front, because again, your rival, ha whoever you named your rival, will have a um, Paracross, and it's bug fighting type, so it'll be four times weak to fine type moves. So yeah, it's, it's your best bet for um, this upcoming battle, to start off at least. Okay, hey Steven. Uh, you came back, Steven. Haha, <laughs> that is so great. My rifle should be stronger to keep me sharp. While well, looking at my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would be any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League champion. Steven, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. Okay, let's have a friendly rematch, Matt. Let's go. I'm trying to defend my title, even though you never beat me to um, get the, be the Pokemon League champion again, but that's okay. Okay, so it starts off with the Sarah Cross. It's level 72 and uh, male. So that's pretty cool. Let's go for the airway sensing. It should one hit kill because it's four times weak to flying type moves and we take it on it. Awesome. Cool. Okay. So he's going to send to Tyran Tyranitar next. Instead of having Rod on this time around, he has a Tyranitar. That's a Jota Pokemon, of course, and it's uh, it's rock and dark type, so if you have a fighting type move, or a fighting type Pokemon at least, um you can it's be four times super effective against uh you can use fighting type moves, which should be four times super effective against this Tyranitar. So, I want to go with, um, I'll go with the giant green. Okay. Sandstream whooped up a stand, so I'm okay. What's, uh, Will a frenzy plant faint it? Let's see. I'm just out of curiosity. Let's see here. Yeah, okay, it faints it awesome. That's good. But now the sandstorm is gonna go on for the rest of the battle actually. Because this ability was sandstorm which cause which causes a sandstorm. Okay, Alkazam. Let's go to Trouble Cup for that one. Yeah, triple clef, yay. This time is uh, Alkazam is level 73 in male, okay. Let's see here. Yeah, buffed by the sandstorm, buffed by the sandstorm, okay. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. I'm faster, uh, triple clef is faster than this Alkazam. That's pretty cool. The Alkazam is two levels higher than a uh, triple clef. Ooh, critical, awesome. Nice. There we go. And now, Executor. So let's go to uh, Firefox, I guess. And I'm gonna see how much a flamethrower does, just out of curiosity. So yeah. So Executor is level 73 this time around, male. Cool. Sandstorm still rages, of course it does. It's gonna, probably be rage, it's gonna rage probably until the end of the battle. Or even past the end of the battle, you know? It's gonna go on for the rest of the battle, pretty much. Let's go for the flamethrower, see how much this does. This time is the executor is level 73 in male. I already said that though. So I just repeated myself. Oh man, didn't faint it. Okay, sleep out of a mist. Okay, cool. Yeah, but the sandstorm will probably finish it off actually. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Here we go. Nice. Jump over the Pacific Gyarados. Okay, let's go to uh, Triple Cuff, I guess. Because. Tropical Fnose Thunderbolt. Ha ha ha. This time is Gyarados is level 73 in male. So it's pretty cool. It's gonna, use, it's gonna have a bully intimidate which cuts just, which cuts Tropical physical attack in half. But it um Thunderbolt is special. So it's pretty cool. It's gonna use Dragon Dance to raise its attack and speed. Don't want to get that many Dragon Dances up because it could sweep through your team. Possibly, so just keep just be aware of that I guess. So yeah, the thimble hits, and it almost takes it out and hit it. Dang it. But then, again, the sandstorm's got to take it out, isn't it? That's pretty cool. The sandstorm is working with me instead of against me right now. And there we go. Nice. Okay. And what left is this Charizard. That's pretty cool. I think this Charizard's going to... I think his starters are going to be level 75 and stuff. So, yeah. 
So yeah, I forgot to mention this in the first time around level 4 with his Charizard. But um, if you chose uh, Bulbasaur like me, he'll have a Charizard. If you chose Charmander, Char Charmander like him, he will have a... Uh, you will actually have a Blastoise. And then if you chose a Blastoise or a Squirtle, you, uh, he would have a um, Venusaur like me. So that's pretty cool. Let's go for the... Um, how much will a Thunderbolt do, honestly? It's gonna be super effective, but I wanna like make sure I can uh, two shot this thing without having to use a full store or anything. Yeah, there we go. It's did about half, really. So then that tries is gonna use Fire Blast. It's level 75 in male, so that's pretty cool. Good for uh, Matt, I guess. The Sandstorm keeps on raging. But I think a Surf will actually faint it and take it out. So, let's try a Surf the next time we can. Oh, it's gonna, oh, it's gonna use a Citrus Berry, dang it. Okay, let's, let's try using a Surf. See if it'll find it. Because we get the same type of attack bonus too, so that's nice. There we go, awesome. Goes the Charizard. And for your champion Matt again, and we match. No, that can't be. You beat me at my best. After all that, we're becoming the weak champ. My reign is over already. That's not fair. Thanks for seventy five dollars, Matt. <laughs> Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it, you're the new Pokemon League champion. Although I like, to, although I don't like to admit it. Steven, yeah, Professor X comes in, comes in again, yay. Okay, so you won. Sincerely, congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Bulbasaur to work on the Pokedex. Steven, you have come of age. Matt, I'm disappointed in you. I came when I heard you beating the late four, but when I got here, you had already lost. Matt, did you understand why you lost? You have to, you forget the industry of Pokemon with love and trust. Without them, you'll never become the champ again. Steven, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is my bliss. Steven, come with me. We're going to the Hall of Fame again, yay. It's pretty cool. Okay, ahem. Congratulations, Steven. The first floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. The Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Steven, you have worked hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Steven. Your new Pokemon are Hall of Famers. Cool. And again, it's like a Pokemon center mach machine. So, yeah. And again, the screen will fade to black. Some of the dialogue is the same, though, but that's okay. It's saving right here. Don't turn up the power. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Airbender, new Hall of Famer. Trovacoff, new Hall of Famer. Starman, new Hall of Famer. Giant Green, new Hall of Famer. Mimean, new Hall of Famer. And Firefox, new Hall of Famer. Yeah. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. And there's us. It took me 68 hours and 17 minutes to get this point of the game, which we're almost done. Basically, all we have left is catching Mewtwo and Sulu and Cape. We have to go through Sulu and Cape first, the puzzle, to get to Mewtwo. It's not that hard to have a puzzle, honestly. And then, uh, we have to catch one of the three legendary dogs. In my case, since I chose Bulbasaur, I can get, um, Entei as one of the three legendary dogs. And you can only get one of the, um, one of them. So yeah, if you chose Bulbasaur like me, you'd get Entei. Or a chance to catch Entei. If you chose Squirtle, you'd have a chance to catch Raikou. And if you chose Charmander, you'd have a chance to get Shuikun. And it's basically whatever Legend Dog is super effective against your um, starter, basically. League Champion, congratulations. Cool. ID number is 41565. My name is Steven. Again, 68 hours and 17 minutes to get this point. But that's okay. And yeah, the cuts. this is the same cutscene, actually. From the first time you go through the before and beat all of them, including your rival. The champion, I guess you say. Yeah. Professor X looks at us, and then, you know, our rival just goes and spins out of the Indigo Plateau building. So, yeah. And we look back at the Indigo Plateau building and run off ourselves. So, yeah. I like the credit music again. We're doing the credits again. That's pretty cool. But yeah, we aren't we, we basically there's like three more parts of this project really. So yeah. It's all coming dead close soon. I like this music. They're showing off like the gates and stuff before the Pokemon League or before Victor Road I should say. And then right here is Viridian City where it all started. Well, not where it all started, but like your first city, I guess you could say outside of uh Pelletown. So it's pretty cool. 
I like how train is, play is just running in, running in place, kinda. Actually, it's not running in place, it's just like, it's a little spotlight on him, basically. So here's Peter City. We never went to that museum and got the old amber for, uh, for, um, Aerodactyl, but that's okay. But there's the Charizard there, nice. This is a Cerulean City, that's pretty cool. We did the Nugget glitch here on Nugget Bridge way in the beginning of this, um, nearing the beginning of this project. To get max money and whatnot. And here is the route um, west of Bill's house. I forget what number it is actually. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And right there you can see Bill's house. This is um, Cape House or whatever. Sea Cottage or whatever. Here's Vermillion City. So that's cool. We got the bike voucher and we got to take on Lieutenant Sage here for the Thunder Badge and whatnot. And the, end, the SSN was there too. There's um, Venusaur right there cool here is the route north of um the lavender town leading into lavender town again this kind of music is really cool i really like it here is celadon city we got a bunch of tms a bunch of pokemon and a bunch of held items at the game corner right there this is pretty cool nice and Celadon City is big, you know, because it has a department store and everything. Here's Saffron City. We take on the Fighting Dojo and Sabrina right there in that gym. So that's pretty cool. And the Selfco building. Where Team Rocket took it over for a short amount of time. There's Blastoise. That's pretty cool. Here's Cycling Road. And here we got a little shot of our rival, Matt. He's just tossing a Pokemon, a Pokeball up and down. Not a Pokemon, but a Pokeball. I guess it's technically a Pokemon he's tossing up and down because the Pokemon is in the Pokeball probably. So yeah, Cycling Road is pretty fun. Good training spot, I guess. And here is uh, Fusion City. There you saw the um, Safari Zone right there. And this is where we also took on Koga, which was cool, I guess. We got the Soul Badge eventually from him. So that's pretty cool. And that's where the Pokemon Center and it moved leader is. And then um, it leads to the um, sh water near um, the Seafoam Islands where you get Articuno. Here's Cinnabar Island. We revived our uh, Helix Fossil and the Omnimite there, and we took on the Pokemon Mansion to get the secret key to get the gym unlocked, and to took on Blaine, who's my favorite Kanto gym leader, but my favorite gym leader of all time, actually. And then you saw the Pikachu again. It's Pikachu's giant, so it's like, again, that episode of uh, the, giant po the Island of the Giant Pokemon, where the, um, you see the giant Pikachu and stuff. Yeah, and here's Pallet Town. So we all really started to cool, be in the game. This is where we started, basically. And with that, it's the end again. Nice. But, uh, we can actually just start the game up again. So let's just do that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then Professor Oak doesn't walk up to you in front of your house actually this time around. So what you want to do is I'm going to fly to Suling City. There we go. And I forgot to show this other that when it happened like when we were first in Suling City, but um, the um, there's this guy blocking the entrance to Suling Cave, which is over the far, far left side of your screen, but he's not there anymore. So yeah, if you try to go in here after you beat the way 4 the first time, it'll actually still be there actually. But in the original Pokemon games for Red, Blue, and Yellow, after you beat the Pokemon League f f first, but for the first time, it'll, he'll actually move and there's like no after game really. Except for catching me I guess, is after the Elite 4 in those games. So, I'm gonna go and see what can I do. I'm gonna see if I can show any items I guess. No, I guess not. Okay, I'm gonna go withdraw an Onyx for my PC and heal my Pokemon. And let's see, who's gonna stay behind in this Suwon Cave adventure? Probably Giant Green, because Giant Green is probably not the best for Suwon Cave. And Mewtwo is a Psychic type Pokemon, so I think he's the weakest link. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got Rock Snake out of my PC, because you'll need um, Rock Smash and Surf, I believe for a Suwon Cave, and um, yeah, let's uh, teach Rock Smash to Rock Snake then, 
Not waterfall, dang it. There we go. Get rock smash, there we go. So in rock smash, probably there's no, you already know it's four moves, your move would be deleted and replaced with rock smash, yes. Okay, which one should be forgotten? Let's get rid of, um, slam, I guess. One, two, and poof. Rock snake forgot slam and machine set. Rock snake learn rock smash, yay. Okay. So yeah, we should have a off to Swillian Cave next. So that's all the way up here. Uh, do I have plenty of repels? I think I have like 30 left. Yeah, I have 30 left. Cool. Nice. There's like a bridge. So that's pretty cool. Let's go on a Siphon Pokemon right here. And we can put a repel on. There we go, now I have 29 left. Cool. So there we go, surf down here, Suin City, and actually there's a train over here, but I won't, I won't face her actually, because I want to just get to Suin City, or uh, get to the Suin Cave. So next part we'll start the Suin Cave, and yeah, so that, and probably finish it, and then we'll save right, probably, we'll probably end right in front of Mewtwo, so yeah, probably end the part right in front of Mewtwo, I guess. So yeah, this is Vigenko again, I would like to thank for again, goodbye, and I'll see you guys, because my Pokemon Leaf Green, we do walk through guide.